Hello there. This is yours truly, Music Man 0150, back here in the workshop. And today, what I'm going to show you is the inside of a typical computer and explain what I'm about to do with it. As you can see, I already have the top lifted on this computer. This is another Dell, and it's a very rare Dell. I'm not sure exactly what the model number is, and if there is a model number, which I'm pretty sure there is, it's very small for me to read. So if any of you out there recognize this particular computer, uh, please leave a comment with the uh, model number of it and that way I can put it in my reference book of computer model numbers so that way if I run across another one and need specific drivers when repairing the system I'll be able to obtain the correct drivers for that particular hardware. Anyway, what I'm about to do with this computer is clear out the hard drive and reinstall the operating system. That was my initial plan to do. However, as I was working on it yesterday, I started it yesterday, I ran into another problem with it and discovered that the CPU fan wasn't working right. The problem that it had, or has, I should say, because I haven't changed it yet, is that the CPU fan either will not run or it will run very, very noisy and very, very rough. When it rotates, it makes a real loud noise like something is scraping. This is the fan right here that I had already removed from the system. And it's just a typical uh, standard fan, DC fan. You can, you can find these almost any uh, electronic place. Where I usually get my computer parts, especially uh, fans like this, there's a website known as www.cablesandmore. That's C-A-B-L-E-S-N-M-O-R dot com. And they have all kinds of styles of CPU fans available. So I would encourage that if you're looking for a, a fan for your computer to check there. They're, they're a really good source to find uh, fans for computers. Anyway, this particular fan, as I said, doesn't want to run right. And you notice when I'm turning it with, with my finger, it's making noise, and it shouldn't do that. So that's why probably part of the time it wasn't running because it would get stuck. Now, when you're looking for a fan, you have to also make sure that the connection is the right type of connection. If you can see this connection here, it's a it's a uh, three pin connector. So what you have to make sure of is when you're looking for a fan, especially online, make sure that you can get a good illustration of what you're looking at so that you don't get the wrong thing. Because that's very, very important. Otherwise, you'll run into delays in fixing your your computer. So anyway, that's the fan that's the culprit. So what I need to do is I need to mount a new fan into the computer. And the device that that fan attaches to, being that it's the processor fan, is this device. This is called a heat sink. And this goes on top of what we call the central processing unit or CPU of the computer. As you can see, I've already cleaned out this heat sink 
because when I pulled it out it was very very dirty and what I did is I just used a can of compressed air to clean out all the dust and as you can see it looks pretty pretty well clean now which will allow the new fan or the new used fan to work properly what I'm going to do is just take another fan out of another computer that I know works and put it in this computer and again it'll mount on this heat sink the central processor unit is that little square chip mounted on that white plate. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can get a better view of that. Okay, it's that chip that says Intel. That's the central processing unit. And that is the brain of the computer. If that ever fails, then your computer is dead. Nothing else will work. So you want to make sure that that always stays running cool. And here's a few tips on how to identify if your computer is running cool or not. Number one, check and make sure that there's cool air coming out of the back of the computer, which would be coming from the power supply. Just to give you an idea what of, of a typical power supply looks like on this particular unit it's this silver thing right here now most power supplies actually will be more of a square like you saw on the Dell V350 in that video if you didn't view that video go ahead and view that video and you'll see how basically that power supply is designed but this power supply here has a fan as well and let's see if I can lean over and show it to you without having to move the computer because I don't have that much space here. Okay, if you can see right here, the light is on, okay. If you can see right here, see where my finger's running across a black circle? That's the fan. And that fan also has to be running because if that fan fails, then your power supply overheats and if anything overheats in your computer that's when you're going to have problems it'll slow down it may lock up and it, sometimes it might not even boot so therefore you have to be aware of what's going on inside the computer even though most of you or some of you may not understand what I'm talking about the fact is just listen to make sure that there's some noise coming out of the case when you have the lights illuminated on the uh, tower of your computer and that noise is usually fans running inside the case so if it's running quieter than usual then you know you got a suspicion that something went wrong inside and to have it checked out so basically that's what I'm going to do with this system is I'm going to change the fan and put a new fan inside this uh, computer to make it run again and then go ahead with my original plan and install the software. So in the uh, next video I will show you how to mount a new replacement fan inside a computer.